hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss a use case in canvas apps we know that in our entities or tables we have choice data type columns right there are many choice data type columns to display list items in a drop down but if i want to filter my data using choice column how you can filter right so that's the use case we are taking today so let me bind contact entity to a gallery. So I'll go to the here and I'll add a gallery control here. And I want to bind my entity contact to this gallery. So I'll select the data sources contact and let me choose a layout, title, subtitle and description. I don't want to show image. So I'll select the layout, title, subtitle and body. And I want to connect first in the first column, I want to connect the uh, full name and in the second, I want to connect full name. Then in the subtitle, I want to connect uh, gender. Okay. And here I want to connect the first name. Okay. Just random name, random name I want to use. So you see when I have connected, if you run it, you see there are three customers. One is male customer and two are female, female customers or contacts, right? Now, when I have connected to this gallery, it is directly bind to the raw contact entity record. So you see in the items property of this gallery, contacts is associated, means all contacts it is returning. But if I want to filter only female candidates, how can I? Uh, filter that I can write filter here. So gender is a choice data type in contact which contains female male other etc So if I want to filter using that choice field, I can write down filter and contacts comma gender is equal to gender choice dot Use the list item. So if you use the gender or the choice column in bracket the entity name you will get these items so let's say i want to get only female candidates then close the bracket and you see it is getting only female candidates no male candidates will be returning why because i am using the choice filter here to get only the contacts where gender is equal to female you cannot directly write this because it is a choice field so it will show error so to use choice field, you have to use this format gender, I mean the uh, choice uh, that choice column in bracket the entity name, then dot the item that you want to filter. This is one type of filter, right? Let's say I want to use this filter using dynamic combo box. Let's say I want to drag it here and I want to take a combo box. Let me search a combo box. In the combo box, I can bind the items that is part of my choice field. So what I can do, I can go to the items property of this combo box and write a power FS called as choices. Now in the choices, what, what choices I want to display in the combo box? Gender choices, gender from contact entity. So when I will bind this gender column in the choice power FX, now if you run it, the items that is part of the choice column will be appended here right so this is how you can bind choice data type column items into a combo box in uh, canvas app but how can you connect this combo box selection with this filter now you can change the items property of the com uh, of the uh, uh, vertical gallery so instead of this you write gender in this is static one I have taken, but I want to make it dynamic by connecting to this combo box. So gender in combo box to dot selected items. Now this will dynamically fetch whatever items, gender items selected here. Depending on that, it will filter data from contact entity and bind to this gallery. So let me search it. Let me test it. Now blank. The gallery is blank. If I select male, it will get male candidates. You see, this is one male candidate is there. If I select female, it is selecting both records, male and female. If I remove male, it will only select female records, right? 
So you understand how I dynamically connected the combo box selection with the gallery filters. That's what the video is all about. This is how you can use choice columns to filter data from Dataverse. It is applicable to all data sources because PowerFX is applicable to all data sources. Thank you everyone watching, watching this video. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe this channel. I am preparing technical videos every day. See you next time guys. Bye.